Mini Airboat Association. Just trying to pound some dents out of my hall. Speaking of halls, let's go inside and talk about them a little bit. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Can you use a John Boat Hall for an airboat hall? Yes, you can. You can't expect it to perform like a purpose-built airboat hall, though. Here's the deal. The first thing is a John Boat Hall isn't wide enough. You rarely find them over a little bit over a four foot bottom. Another reason is the corrugated hull, these uh, bumps out. What that is for is that makes the bottom of the hull stronger. With these bends in, they can use a thinner material keeping the, keeping the hull lighter. And Another reason for these is to help the, tra the boat track. And because of these, that's one of the reason why it doesn't make a good airboat haul. An airboat haul needs to slide. With these in here, it won't allow it to slide. The other thing with the John Boat Haul is the width of the bottom. A mini airboat haul should be at least five foot across the bottom from, from side to side at the bottom. Not measured at the top, measured at the bottom. Five foot. And like I said before, you rarely find a John boat of the size needed for an air boat that's more than four foot wide. You can use it, like I said, you just can't expect the performance that you get out of a purpose-designed airboat haul like the one below. Because of the bottom being so narrow, they ride deeper in the water. And the deeper a haul runs in the water, the harder it is to get moving to get it up on plane. You can use them, but they just won't perform. And it takes a lot more horsepower and a lot more thrust to get a John Boot Hall on, on plane. If, if you're adding more horsepower, you're adding a bigger motor, you're adding more weight, the more weight you put in in the boat, the further it goes down in the water. And like I said, the further it is down in the water, the harder it is to, to, uh, to get it going. Another thing before I stop, along with that you have the width of the, the width at the top of the transom. This limits you to the size of prop that you can use. To put a big enough motor on to get them to plane, the prop that you have to use for that motor would be wider than the boat. So it's really not the best choice for an airboat haul. Now let's get to the airboat hall. One thing, the first thing I want to start out by saying is 
the air boat hull is not really flat on the bottom. At the transom, you have a small arc. I exaggerated this one to show you, but this distance between straight across and the bow is only about an inch, maybe a little bit more. Uh, this helps strengthen the bottom. Think about it like an egg. The curve in an egg helps it strong. The curve in an egg helps it strength. You can push pretty hard on, on an egg before it'll break. If you're using the, the curve of the egg, if you push straight in, it's going to break easily. Same here. If you just have a flat hull, it has nowhere to go for up. If you when you put this bend in, it just makes it stronger. Then, then again, the, you have the width. Like I said, a five foot width is the minimum width for an air boot hull. You, we'll get into it more here as we go along, but. You also don't want to go too wide on your airboat hull because the wider your hull is, the more wetted surface you have. And the more wetted surface you have, the more drag there is on your boat. Opinions on the the length of a mini airboat, the perfect length. I think that perfect length is between 12, 13 feet. Say you have a smaller boat. The same width, five foot bottom, and you have your motor on your prop, you have your battery, gas tank, and then your rigging for your seat. You have all this weight in the back portion of the boat. With all that weight in the back part of the boat, the boat is going to sit like this in the water. This is the water. Be more like while it's here, the boat would sit like this. That, this is exaggerated, also. But the boat, the back of the boat, would be down further in the water. And like I said, with the, the other one, the the further it sits down in the water, the harder it is to get on plane. Uh, getting back to this, now, if you have a longer boat. If you have a longer boat, you can move your gas tank forward and you can move your battery a little bit forward. You can move your seating a little for forward and when you add your second seat, if you want a second seat in it, that can be forward too. Now, as far as the, the front seat, I don't recommend you put that front seat, the weight of that front seat, or any weight, ahead of the bow arc. Now, if you're spreading out the weight, like this in a longer boat, your boat's going to set more even in the water. And it's going to take, it's not any part of the boat is, is down further in the water. The, the weight is spread out, taking the least amount of water as possible. This makes it much easier to get on plane. 
that's the hardest part of these mini airboats is get, getting them over the top to get them on top of the water to get them going. Where do I want to go from here? 